Good eye. Oh, hang on. Turn that down. Oh, hang on. I am chasing a pair of grouse. I am. They've just gone in the field to my left. <laughs> so, good day. And I am currently enjoying this wonderful Norfolk countryside. I am. I'm out at Frettenham. And if you can see in the back seats there, I have just bought a fold up, lightweight, good quality, branded push bike. I have <laughs> for my European adventure from a cool guy right here in Frettenham, just up there. Oh man. So I thought I've got a few things today that I need to do. I need to, actually this week, I think this is my last week, days, my last few days in the UK before I now go off for the big three month epic journey around Europe, which is gonna be awesome. It really is. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm feeling healthier every day. I'm coming to terms with my mum's condition more and more each day. So I am now in a position where I can move, move on and get back to work. So today I've picked up, I have won that fold up push bike from eBay uh, yesterday for £132. A uh, collection here in Frettenham, which was pretty good. Uh, otherwise it was £30 post. So I guess, obviously being local and needing one of those bikes, it's probably why I won it for a good price. I did bid 200 quid. I was prepared to pay up to 200 pounds for that bicycle because it's, it's, it's worth a lot more. It, it is. <laughs> right, let's get out of this junction on the Norwich Road. Crosswick is where I am right now. And I actually got a puncher the other day, not far from the house. I managed to get the puncher changed. Ah, oh, that's my mate's pub. Ah, oh, there, I always wondered where that was. I get all these roads coming out of Norwich mixed up. I thought it was on the Elsha Road, it's no, it's on this one. Speaks with New Walsh, North Walsham Road. Okay, so I'm now going back in the city because where I uh, got a puncture, I had one of my tyres changed, but then where I now went to Wilco's this morning, they were a little bit busy, I had two cars in, two cars waiting, but he did give me uh, a price for a new tyre, which was 63 quid. But whilst he was checking out my other tyres, <laughs> Uh, at least two of them actually need change, so I'm basically going to go back uh, to Wilco right now and put four, uh, buy new shoes for the car, four new tyres, so basically that will give me, uh, that should be better on my fuel economy, get the air pressure all done, new tyres, and where I've got to be doing a little bit of off-roading and stuff, uh, that, that uh, so I don't really want to go and spend 260 quid today on four new tires no i do not but it looks like i'm gonna to have to and then the only thing i need to buy is some camping a camping stove and some camping equipment cooking stove and then i need to buy a roof tent which i have sent somebody an offer of 1100 pounds on uh, on the ebay but he's in i'll wait for it where is he guildford yeah, 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 a three hour journey to Guildford to go and pick that up. The other side of London on the M25, but it's going to save me. Uh, well, it's a good bargain if he's accepted my offer, 1100 quid. Um, so hopefully, I might be doing that tomorrow, and I should find something around Guildford or, or wherever to go and make a vlog about it, I guess. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a long old journey, three hours there, three hours back. But <laughs> what else am I going to be doing? <laughs> with me day. I don't know where he cut geese there on the left. I don't know why he pulled out on me first off. <laughs> so anyway, he'll overtake in a minute, nippy van driver. So that's where I am. So I thought I'd put the dash cam on, pull you guys up to speed. I'll show you the bicycle when I, when I get time. I pull out, it's, it, it, it's good. I've got a good bargain, it's good condition. Um, when I saw it on eBay yesterday, I thought, yes, that's just what I need. So I'm gonna get myself sorted. Uh, today is Monday, and I want to be getting on with my journey, my adventure. Alrighty, I have found the perfect place 
to demonstrate or to welcome myself to my new push bike. They're all folded up. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So I want to test the bike. Look what I found. <laughs> well, can you, can, you, can you tell what I found? Do you know what this is? Where I am? This used to be the front entrance of the Helston Golf Club. Golf Club right here, an abandoned golf course, which has turned into um, some kind of, I don't know, stay over place. I don't know if there's been a few people <laughs> or you can just come and dump your waste. I think these JMC contractors, they're all basically building or finishing off all the new builds over there, right near Asda, the perma, perma whatever, show home over there. Uh, it's not an estate I'd recommend you to go and buy a house because I know a few people that live on that estate. <laughs> and, and they've got the mental illness thing where the council play their pip and they live in there. So if you're buying a brand new house on one of them, thinking, ah, oh, it's really good. It's full of people on the dole with mental illness. Just, just so you know. Right now, I, oh, it's the benefit of having multi-channels. I'm like, I want to test this bike on this bit of waste ground, see what that's all right. Now look, it's really easy with this fold in. I did it at the guy's house. It's just so simple, he says. <laughs> that folded, that all folded up. Oh, hang on, the pedal's a bit, it's locking on the pedal. Cause that will just oh, unfold, hang on. Here's the first joint, look. Just unfold to there, clamp it, Push a little bead down. It's just how simple this was. And on there, <laughs> on there, I may have to adjust the seat. And like I say, it's just take the nipple, just put the clamp down. Hang on. Put the clamp up and the nipple across. There you go. That's my bike fully operational it does have a derailleur i think it is one two three four five it could be a six speed bike oh man it's going to take me seconds to set that up oh man it actually feels oh and the gears hang on where are the gears i make the gears are on the handlebars i think um I'll suss out where the gears are. Try to suss out the, the, the brakes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hang on. Where away? Where away? That feels all right. I can handle that gear. That's not a bad riding position. I say, I'll say, that brakes. I'll suss out how to do the gears. Can't be that hard. Wee. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. So we go, I'm off on a little bike ride round <laughs> an abandonment. Oh man, it's got its own little path here. It's all right. <laughs> and today is a nice day. The gale force winds have stopped. I have. And the sun has come out, even though it's clouding up a little bit at the moment it feels like rain imminently <laughs> where an hour ago oh man it was proper sunshine whoa <laughs> uh, you don't know what you're gonna find <laughs> in an abandonment now the best thing is like i said before brake work i can tighten up all the little brakes i just need how to i'll find where that gear cable go and there will there be, ah, there they are. Twist, twist. There's your gears. Brilliant, like a rally grifter right on the handle. Wicked, wicked. Didn't take two seconds to suss that out. Right, <laughs> the car is locked, I think. I ain't left the car open, have I? Oh, possibly, no, no, no. I'll keep an eye on it. Bike is there, look at this. Ah, it's wicked. It's wicked, right. Bear with me, I just, I'm gonna have to start this abandonment vlog now, aren't I? 
beautiful. But this is, look, I'll just show you what an old golf course looks like. I mean, they're water buds. I could do one of them. I could do with so much stuff. I could. I'm going on a long camp and I need a water butt. Oh, man, what wonderful countryside, eh? Beautiful, man. If you've got a trials bike, you've got sand bunkers and stuff all over here. That'd be wicked. Someone, I'm, no, I'm joking. There's wheel, there's tyre marks, look. Coming in and out, someone's been over here on a bike. Look at all that wire, chicken fencing wire. Amazing countryside. It all looks like it's going to waste. I don't think it'll be going to waste long. There'll be massive housing developments on there. Um, even probably, whilst I speak. Right. That's it, man. All these breeze blocks. <laughs> Build house for them these days. Are they the light ones or heavy ones? Oh, they're heavy, heavy breeze blocks as well. And all that wood. What going on? I love a bit of salvage, don't I? I do. What's that? Oh no, okay, a bit of a hat. I thought there was some super duper free drone pilot's goggles or something. No, it is just make rubbish up, don't they? Right, I'll be back to you guys in a bit. I'm just gonna have to make an abandonment vlog. <laughs> Busy little day today. That is me. I've done my abandonment vlog on my push bike. Push bike is pretty good. And I sussed out where the gears are, all on the handle. No levers or nothing. Really, really simple, easy bike. But I have come to Wilco. I have. And as you can see, the cart, where I had a puncture the other day, I did, I had to put the spare wheel on. But as you can see, the spare wheel is brand new. So where I come in today to get that replaced, this morning, a couple of hours ago, we had a little look at the other tires and they all could do with being replaced. So it's 63 pounds each. The guy, um, he's on it already. They're gonna change all, all four tires. So I've got a new set of <laughs> tires when I go traveling. But the other thing is when I come to Wilco the other day, last week looking for roof bars, as you can see, I have a fine pair of solid roof bars fitted. But when I come into Wilco, just there, after going to Helfords and getting the run around and speaking to people who weren't really interested in helping you. I came to Wilco, told them what bars, or the bloke told me what bars. Anyway, he given me the bars. They didn't have any in stock, new ones. So he gave them to me. So I'm going in. <laughs> I did say I'd come back, make a little vlog. I'll ask, it's all right. <laughs> you all right with me filming? Is that all right? Uh, can't see why not. Can't see why not, see? They're decent people, they don't mind being on camera because they do help you. When I come in here the other day, they were really helpful and your boss gave me a pair of roof bars for nothing. Really? Yeah, I know. It's good, isn't it? He's a good old boy, isn't he? He is a good old boy. But, but I've come in today, what I need, mate, because um, I keep playing with my phone and I'm on camera and I shouldn't be doing it. Do you have a phone holder? Yeah, That'll fit any car. There you go. On a bull right away. I like Wilco. I do. You those on the screen and the dash or it goes in events. In events. When they go in events, that's exactly what I want. In events. So that's wicked. He's got to sort me out. So if you ever want any motoring products, bicycles or anything, I wouldn't bother with Helfords. I won't. They're expensive. They're rude and they're not very helpful. Yet in Wilco, I found a complete opposite. I did. 650. For event, that's good, 650. Now have a look at that one. He's got the jack up on the front, he's got them all jacked up. He's got a whole car jacked, look. The car <laughs> is jacked. Let's soon then them off. I reckon it'll be done in about 20 minutes. See you in a little while, buddy. Cheers. Well, I reckon I might have to go and get some money. Our oh, sun's coming out. But I've got to get these things done because I need to be getting on. My, my, my YouTube channels and their audiences cannot wait any longer. No, and neither can I. And I think as soon as I get out of the country, I might be able to get rid of this congestion. I might, I don't know. I'll see. So what about, you know, I've gone wandering, haven't I? There's Wilco. Right there, that's a nice, I like that car. It's got to be a Golf, hasn't it? Got to be. Wilco, right here. 
Oh man, where did I used to live? I used to live there. No way, that grey one. I used to live there. Or was it the white one? It was the white one. This used to be KFC, where that's now a Turkish restaurant. And I used to live up there. I did. Many moons ago. I mean many, many moons ago. You used to have a good Chinese restaurant in here. Oh, you got, you got Norwich Sharper. <laughs> Man. Bloomers and Danish. Could be a pastry shop. I'm drawn. I love a Danish. Hang on, I've got my wallet under my arm. Mate, I'm drawn to the sign that said Danish. I don't want any bloomers, big loaves of bread, no. But I know what a Danish. Uh, I'm having a look. And uh, they're not. Um, no, <laughs> very disappointing. Oh, the Chinese restaurant is there, Golden City. I can't believe they're still there. Man. What are you filming? Me, darling. <laughs> you want me to come and film you? I'm in what are you, Masters? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you mind being on film? <laughs> you don't? No. What are you want? What is that you're drinking? It, it, Practic camera. What, 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 you got, what is that you're drinking? Barbiturates. Barbiturates Barstorm. Bar yeah. All right. Ladies, you, you have a good day. Right. Why are you doing that if I do it? Because uh, I enjoy it. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you, you just when I do film, then I just never know what I'm going to see, who I'm going to talk to. It, it gives me life. Right, no, Give me something to do. Okay. It's all right. Yeah, it's really oh, and you, darling, you enjoy your beverage. Yeah, thank you. All right. Your thank you. <laughs> Nearly run over. My, my fault. <laughs> That's what you get when you walk up out of a camera around the city or, or on Dam Road. It is a precarious area. I'm not going to get run over by that lady, no. I saw she was indicating so I could get out of her way. Co op is still here. <laughs> I ain't been on Dam This is Dam Road. If you go that way, guess where you come to? Corsi. <laughs> You'll eventually come to Durham. You will eventually. You'll eventually. I don't know. Old Army and Navy stall is still there. Beckett's. It's still called Beckett's. I oh, mean, the cancer charity shop that used to be Blockbuster Video Shop. That's gone. And that garage there. I oh, mean, that's my next visit because I think that's who does the MOTs to the motor. And they know, my car's got a little problem with the water pump. So when I come out of there, I'll nip up there, see if I can get that little problem solved. Oh man, cool. Right, I'm not gonna wander about any anymore. Never know what you're gonna see. I'm getting into trouble. <laughs> right, I'll be back with you in the ickle while. Oh man, okay, I have now spotted a restaurant, Vietnam Po. Right here on Deerham Road. Now, I, I, I did one of my subscribers. <laughs> one of my subscribers told me. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Ah, ah, <laughs> you're all right. One of my subscribers told me he had a Vietnam restaurant. He said, when I was in Vietnam, I was eating all the wrong stuff. Absolutely. I was. Oh, man. So I'm coming in. Yeah. Hello, Hello darling. <laughs> Sorry, Cap. Well, how are you? You good? Yeah. Oh, you're Thai from Thailand? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. I'm vlogging right now. Nice to meet you. Kapoom. <laughs> oh, are you squeezing in? Hello, oh, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi. There you go. I'm here. I'm getting as well. Kapoom. Brilliant. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's really cool. These people actually watch my show. Hello. Oh, cool. Hello, YouTuber. Hello, YouTuber. Awesome. Awesome. Well, are you going to come and try me now, Papa? No, yeah. Yeah, I will. I will. Yeah, my husband likes you so much. He bought everything. He come round the house. He come round the house. I'm not on the door, yeah. It's cool. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Right, I'm going in to have... Um, Vietnam pool, Vietnam pho. food, pho. Pho. Vietnam Vietnam pho. Pho. Yeah. All right. the lady. Vietnam food, 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 V
Hang on, hang on. What well, food <laughs> has arrived? Now tell, tell me, the, this spring roll? This is a spring roll, uh, okay, authentic spring roll. This is called summer roll. Yes. And that's a sauce here for the summer roll. Yes. And that's a sauce for spring roll. It's for spring roll, and this yeah. is for dipping yes, this exactly, one. Yeah. And this is fresh. Freshly made, yeah. This is freshly made. made. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm going to try the fresh one yeah. first. So, oh man, this is good. This is such off the cuff. I know it's fresh spring roll. Look at that. It is packed full. A prawn, veg, carrot, bit of rice or noodle? Uh, noodle. Noodle? Rice noodle. In the dip, rice noodle in there. Oh. Oh. Mm. It's really good. Mm. It's not spicy, it's more sweet than... Man, it's lovely. Yeah. A little bit of celery in there. Yeah, yeah, celery, yeah, carrot. A little bit. Mm. I didn't get to eat food just good in Vietnam. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. And this is your crispy... The crispy. Yeah. Pack full. And then you really do crispy. kind of nutty... Peanut, peanut, peanut butter. Yeah. You okay with that? Sesame, yeah, yeah, yeah peanut yeah. butter and sesame. Not, sorry, A lot. Add water. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. That peanut butter. Toasted sesame. That is toasted. Oh man. Food here. And the bar. Far, yeah, far. Far. How do I say far? Far. 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 Or the way you say foe. Foe. Far or foe. Yeah. The English, yeah. Yes. Pronounced foe. Yes. But in actual Vietnamese, it's far. It's far. It's far. Far. Yeah. Okay. And then you have the chili sauce if you want it spicy. Yes. And then you have the chopsticks. So you've got chili sauce here, look. If you yeah. want to spice it up, look at that beautiful bowl. Yeah. Proper. Now, what this young man told me, when he watched me eat in, in Vietnam, he said I didn't have the real, real food. The proper I, what, what was I eating in Vietnam? You what? were eating uh, pot what, noodle. Pot noodle. <laughs> that is what he said. That is what he said. I was, I was so upset. I said, what the hell is this guy? He's watching me eating pot noodle on the so street. I was so upset that he didn't get there to enjoy real Vietnamese food. food. <laughs> yes, there you go. There you go. I had the wrath of the Vietnamese, but I didn't get to enjoy the real, real Vietnamese food, yeah. which of course... This is just part of it, yeah? Yeah, which of course, when I was in Hoi An, yeah. all those oh, little... Yeah. They're all just pot noodles for the tourists. They are. No, not for the tourists. Ah, for... For, for people who can afford to eat. For the poor, oh, okay, for everybody. Yeah. That, they're okay. Yeah, because it's very economic. Very economical pot noodle. There you go. <laughs> that, so it's not just for the tourists, it's for the locals who can't afford to eat. Yeah. Uh, that's where they can. So this is beef. Beef, yeah. Right. And then you're doing the soup, mm. the, 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 the stock, yeah? The flavour is in the stock. Mm. Okay? Yeah, yeah, so you're doing the soup, you're, yeah. What do you think of that? Nice? Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah? It's really good. That. Nice texture, nice flavour. You put a bit of lemon. Lemon and chilli, yeah, or to yeah. put up, yeah, and there's. Squid of lemon. Yes. Yeah, squid of lemon. So you can add yeah, a little good. bit of chilli. Yeah, all lemon fresh. Squeeze in. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like a bit of fresh lemon. Aha! That is hot in there. So I'll get the lemon. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, throw it over there, then you got it. We're going there. And then you can, you can put some... Uh... I'm okay for more veg. There's enough in there, buddy. Okay. Thank you. Get that little lemon juice in there. I'm a big fan of lemon juice and it'll probably help yeah. clear my congestion. Why it enhance the flavour? <laughs> and then, of course, enhance the flavour. You want the chili oil? No, no. <laughs> I'm off. You need a little bit of chili oil. Protection. I'm, I'm off my chilies right now. All that spice, I'm like, I've just had enough of it. Everything. But I'll yeah, tell you, yeah, this is really thank good. You, thank you. And this, you've got toasted sesame in there as well. Have you, is yeah, it just yeah, got yeah, a toasted yeah. type flavour? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we toasted it. Mm. So how good is that? If you want really good Vietnamese food, 
Well, don't go to Vietnam. Uh, I'm at Norwich. Norwich, Durham Road, Norwich. I'm at Dorage, Durham Road. Durham Road, Norwich. And I've got these, I've never had these. these they're, they're fresh spring rolls and I've never had them before. The course number row is very nice. Mm. Very clean, very fresh. Mm. Yeah. Very healthy. Mm. No oils, nothing. No oils. Oh, really good. Those fresh spring rolls. So, nothing in there, just natural, fresh food, really good for you. And tastes so healthy, they are. Oh, really good. I'm really good. I'll come down on Durham Road. Just as I impromptu, just really never know what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be vlogging about. So, I'm really glad I come down here today. Mm. And really healthy Chinese tea. Oh, and this guy, very fit guy, he was telling me in 10 minutes, he'd do 100, did he say 100 press ups and 100 sit ups or 100 pull ups? in 10 minutes, 100 pull-ups and 100 press-ups in 10 minutes. <laughs> he wanted me to make a vlog about him doing that, but I much prefer the food. This is really good, it really is. And there are, if you look in there, two great big fresh prawns. I really like my prawns, my seafood, especially when it's this fresh and you can, you can just taste the goodness and the freshness of that. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> that's very sad. That is. Look, look at this guy. Look at this. Look, this is it. Now look, here's mine. Right? Here's my little bowl. There. <laughs> right? That's my. That's my bowl. And that's this guy. Yeah. That's that. And you have one of these every day? <laughs> yeah, no, every, again. Time, yeah. every time. Every time. Now and again. Every time you come here, have this. Wow, that is something to eat that every day. And that is, like I say, that is proper, wholesome, healthy food. And this, this is what the ladies have had. That's their lunch. That's my lunch. That's it, this lady. Yes, that's my lunch. That is really good. They do eat well. And those are cock, um, winkles or cock, winkles. Oh, winkles are awesome. They are. I've really enjoyed my lunch. Yeah, what was the, hey, what's the name of the restaurant? Vietnam yeah, Far on Durham Road. Yes, Vietnam. That's where we are. I'll do a little clip when I go out so you'll see the front of the business when I leave. But it's been really good. Ah, oh, and here is, look, the menu looks really good as well, look. There you go. That is the menu, which looks good, feels good, and it's really clean. It's really clean. Lots of choices. Dream, and the beverages on the back. Beverage, yeah. that is, and that is a nice, that feels, they're wipeable. They feel like you, yeah. you, you, you can wipe them down after. So it is, there's no grubby finger marks on there. That is brilliant. Really good. What a cool place, cool guy, cool restaurant, and a cool young lady. Thank All you. in, that was like the, in the owner. All in the same oh, place. Vietnam for right here. Vietnam pho in England. There you yes, go. Yes, the Norwich. And I'll tell you what, the food is really, really good. Thank I'm not you. saying that really well, so if you come here, you'll find out for yourself. And there is a phone number yes, where you do takeaway. Yeah, we do takeaway Wicked. and delivery. Actually. And delivery. Yes. That and is delivery. brilliant. Thank Darling, you very much. thank you. You have a lovely day. Take care. Love Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Appreciate it. All the best, man. That's really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> and I've got a takeaway. I, I couldn't eat. I can't believe that young guy eating all them noodles. I had a good go, but I'm a little bit stuffed. Oh man, I had. I wasn't expecting to go in, uh, and I'd, I'd forgotten that guy had invited me to come to his restaurant. But I'd forgotten. <laughs> well, I've remembered now. Oh, hang on. Where's my car? Right near Wilco. So this is pretty good. All these little things in quite a small vicinity. Oh no, that's not good. Car's not there. That's not good. 
Oh, uh, no, hang on. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> that's all right. For a minute, I thought there was an issue. Oh, maybe that's it. The back wheel's got to go in. Ah, oh, that look all right. She's got new boots on, mate. I suppose they've all been lined. Look at them. Proper new boots. We good? Yeah, all done, yeah. That's all done? No issues? Yeah. No issues at all? All new boots, man. They look really good. That's good. So all I've got to do, ah, is stick that in the boot until I get home. I did leave it. I'm done. I've got my shopping. I've been shopping, look. <laughs> ah, hit that. Do that. Shopping's there. That's me lunch when I get home. Everything's in there. Uh, okay, I'll do that again in a bit. Right, I'll just settle up and then um, I'm probably going to nip around the garage where, where they do the MOTs. <gasps> ah, top man. Oh, mate, have a wonderful day, buddy. I forgot my phone holder. How cool. Not a cloud in the sky. And I literally <laughs> pop next door to Bryce Autos right here. And it's really cool. <laughs> Because I've gone in and the guy knows the car is called Flo. He even knows the car. It's been MOT there for the last three or four years. So they know the car. So that's really good news. And I have booked in for a new cam belt and water pump to be fitted. And I'm bringing the vehicle here at 8 a.m. in the morning to get that done. So that's, that's brilliant. That's really good news. And the guy in there is really cool. Um, he's getting the parts on ordered from Wilco next door um, with a guy who just walked in who fitted my tyres. So I love that association and, and that, that's been really good. So guys, what I need to do now, ah, I need a happy ending. You all right down there? Ah, my favourite part of the day. Just talking to the cattle. Oh, that sounds good. It does, look. Anything new, right? Anything new that comes into this yard, they have to they have to be near it. So I have parked me little horse right there, and so the cattle oh look, one of them, they're like they're both sides. That's just mad. And I'm surprised one's not on the seat. Anything at all you bring in, they're cats, they're like mine, mine, mine. They are. They were sitting on the bonnet of the car the first day I brought that in. Anything they bring in, they think it's theirs. Now, uh, what a cool purchase for that bike. That is wicked. That is really good. So, I have watched this. This, this could be the best thing about today. Look, now you are probably going to enjoy this as much as me. Now, I, oh, I need to tilt the glass. I do. I'm not going to explain too much about the widget, but I am going to get... My choice is this ice-cold Budweiser, which is really cold. So, I'll get that pouring. you see the pouring action. Oh, that should be enough. Just on the tilt to get that started. And that lovely frosted glass. Like I say, today has been a very, very good day. Oh, look at that. Ah, you see that frosted stem? Are you taking that in, people? The artistic merit of that trickling. Did you see that? Is that... I know it's not the best light. Ah, that's really good, look. Proper working widget. Oh, it's frothy, man. Oh. That is so good. Now, I had given up on the drink. I had, but... Oh. Happy ending, happy ending. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Uh, it was really good on Dereham Road, really, really good. Uh, I, I, uh, like I say, I used to live in that area and for me to be back there today and realize how, uh, how normal and natural that place is and the people that are around there, the guys in Wilco, uh, the guys in the car garage place where I went and of course my friend there who's got the Vietnam restaurant uh, right there with all the Thai ladies working in there. That was brilliant. I, I didn't, that was really impropt. I didn't expect that to happen today, even though I said I'm going to come along and make a vlog about your little restaurant there. What a cool guy. 
uh, to invite me in uh, for that today. That was brilliant. Uh, that really was. Um, so, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed my little vlog of getting my car getting ready. Like I say, tomorrow I'm going to get the, um, the cam belt water pump done on the car. And the only thing I need to buy is my tent, reef tent too. Um, I have uh, put an, an offer into somebody who's an older shot. So it's a long old drive to go and pick it up, but I'm hoping he get back to me quickly because I've been given, uh, I've been off, I've been given a seller's discount on a tent box one for just over a thousand pounds with free postage. So uh, that's what I'm leaning towards because uh, I don't really want to drive all the way to Aldershot, uh, nor Hemel Hempstead, or Gool, or Guildford, or even Bathgate. Uh, there's a brilliant uh, tent box too, with loads of accessories in Bathgate for 1,200 quid, worth about 1,800, but it's in Bathgate. Um, Bathgate is, uh, they're close to Edinburgh, Scotland, so I won't be going there. I won't. It's good that someone's got free posts for one, so I might do that option. Oh man, option, because that, that's all I need to do and then get some cooking, camping cooking gear. So cheers, guys. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog as much as I have enjoyed making it. And until next time, au revoir.